Ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, cats and chicks, you're listening to Viva ENT. That's right. That's right. This is Johnny the Capo. I'm in the studio with my co-host. This would be Becca Page. Hello, everybody. Glad to be back in the studio. Super I like, excited to do another show. Oh, man, I'll tell you. Uh, I like to refer her as Becca the Page. Becca the Page, yes. <laughs> For some reason, there's a the in there. You know, uh, last week's show, um, it was January 8th. It was Elvis Presley's 80th birthday, and it was probably one of the greatest shows that we've ever done. Do you agree, Paige? Absolutely. It was so much fun. And I wanted to oh my give a, a big thank you to whoever brought you those DVDs into the studio, too. Now, who was that? Eric Ryder? Say some, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my producer, Eric Ryder. Mm-hmm. Just uh, one of our very uh, nice uh, show hosts here. So. Oh, cool. Oh, so somebody that works here at the studio? Uh, he has a show on Sundays. Nice. Oh, cool. Well, tell him thank you. Tell him that thank you. Cool. Yeah, that was nice. Brother Benjamin, that's what we call him. Brother Benjamin. Uh, <laughs> is that a, a, a religious show? It is a religious show. Oh, cool. Well, God bless well, his maybe little I'll heart. Sing, I'll sing a gospel song for uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Benjamin. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, Eric, we didn't really have a chance to get you on the show much last week because we had so much going on. It was I incredible. know you had some great guests. Oh, my gosh. I was enjoying listening to the show, though. Yeah. That that was a uh, that was a, a great show. You know, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those of you who are listening for the first time, uh, our show Viva Ent is about rock and roll. It's about weddings, entertainment, and lots of weddings, mm-hmm. and how to plan parties, how, how to, to plan throw parties, a party. how to plan events. Mm-hmm. And and there's always, always a little bit of Elvis Presley. That's correct. <laughs> so if you're an Elvis Presley fan, this is the show to listen to. That's right. No ifs, ands, and buts. No question about it. Yep. Now, let's talk. Let's start the show out about talking um, uh, the uh, wedding shows that we've just done. Uh, we 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 just finished the Tacoma Wedding Expo, which is a smash hit. Tacoma Dome, beautiful man. I'm telling you. Yeah, Brad did a great job with that one. Every single uh, vendor space was sold out. Our so associate, Brad show. Buckles, yep. Um, the vendors put so much into decorating their booths and making it nice for everybody. Um, and, and he has some really quality vendors there. Everybody's friendly and loves to sell. He teaches classes on, on how to sell in those booths. And so he's right there with them all the time, educating them and, and helping them be successful for his shows. Wedding Expo always has uh, uh, credible vendors. Are you not going to get in the show? Absolutely. I mean, you just can't just uh, pay a fee and get in the show. Mm-mm. Brad checks them out. Seal of approval. See, sees if they have a credible web, website. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if everything is copacetic. Yep. No question about mm-hmm. it. So, and it's a nice variety between venues and photographers and DJs and cake and dresses, everything you need, jewelers. It's all there. And now we have a wedding expo. Uh, Xfinity at Arena. Xfinity Arena in correct. Everett, and mm-hmm. that's next weekend. That's correct. So 24th, 25th? Is no, that how that works? So the 25th and 26th. 25th and 26th. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool. I mean, I could check You can go to bridesclub.com and check out all the dates for our open houses and upcoming expos and, and all that good stuff. Isn't the, is not the Honolulu show this weekend? Yes. It is. Mm-hmm. If you're going to Hawaii, the Honolulu Wedding Expo is this weekend. That is correct. We also have a couple of new sponsors this week, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 24th and 25th. It is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. absolutely. As you were saying. Uh, We have uh, Grand Event Rentals. Yes. We have Thousand Words Photo Booth. Absolutely. It's not just Photo Booth. It's the entire um, event entertainment company. Oh, yeah. Yep. So if you you want to talk entertainment, you want to know about entertainment, you want to know about vendors, to book for your private parties, this is the show to listen to. Corporate parties. Weddings. Lots of weddings. Lots, Lots of weddings. I've never seen it. There are going to be, I, I think it's probably going to be a record year for brides getting married 2015 because the it's it's crazy the amount of brides we've been talking to this early. I know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, and the response from the wedding shows is just, is, I, I, I in reality, it's like the best response we've ever had. Absolutely. I mean, thinking back, you know, in the last, you know, 14, 15 years. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of brides and grooms out there ready to tie the knot. Mm-hmm. No sure. question about it. Yep. And they seem a little bit more knowledgeable. It seems like the more uh, that's put out online from reputable websites on how to plan your wedding is more beneficial to us vendors, too, because 
the reading and researching and knowing what questions to ask. Uh, a few years ago, some of the questions that we received from brides were like, this isn't even relevant to a wedding. Why are you asking this? And now they're asking very precise, very, very good questions. Like, do we have control of our music? Is your music going to be edited? What happens if a guest comes and asks for a song that you don't have in your library? Different things like that. They're, they're actually asking questions that directly relate to the services that we provide, which is awesome. Now, for listeners that are listening to us for the first time, we want to let you know that when you listen to Viva ENT, we're going to tell you everything we know about weddings. Yeah. And we're experts and we're pros. Mm-hmm. And we're not going to give you a, a song and dance. We're going to tell you the facts and figures. A lot of people, tell me the truth, Paige. A lot of people don't, don't like to hear the facts and figures. No. They, some, they, they, some don't. They, want, they just want you to tell them stuff. Or they just come up to you and say, what's your price? Boom. Yeah, and they, yeah. and they, they choose it just based off a of price point, which sometimes is good and sometimes can be a little troublesome when they're when they're going, well, I just need a DJ for my wedding. So I think I'll just look on Craigslist and try to get a hundred, two hundred dollar DJ, someone doing that because it's all the same thing. In, in fact, I talked to a gal just today on the phone and uh, she booked us for an entire wedding reception. And I uh-huh. told her how many hours was included and everything. And then she goes, so uh, what does the DJ do for like cocktail hour and dinner and everything because they only play the dance music right and i said <laughs> no I, that that's a small part of what of what we do as a service you know we're coordinating your entire timeline and seeing making sure your guests there's not a weird lull going on everything that's going on behind the scenes is run by your dj if you don't have a wedding coordinator and even if you have a wedding coordinator your dj still is right there with them working to make that day run smoothly so um she she just had absolutely no idea. <laughs> it uh, it uh, well you know and there was a sigh of relief when I told her what we did because she thought she was going to have to do it. <laughs> well, the fact of the matter is that um, brides and grooms that are getting married for the first time they don't know, they just no. don't know. And you how know? would they? And a lot of times uh, their parents haven't been married for twenty years, you know. And so it, it's uh, you know it's not something that everybody has general knowledge of it's not something that everybody knows the way to go Mm -hmm. but i I can tell you right now if you call 206-542-5733 talk to beck or me we're going to give you the straight talk about weddings Mm -hmm. or go to viva dash productions all of our contact information is there also you can email us call us whatever you want to do but we love to talk about weddings and there's obviously no fee to talk over the phone to um, give you give you some direction. In fact, I'm actually working on right now a uh, sheet to be able to hand to brides that give them an, uh, gen- a generic timeline that any wedding could really plug that into to make the best use of their time and keep their guests engaged. Um, you know, how long is cocktail hour? Uh, how long dinner is based off of guest count, based on if it's a plated multi-course dinner buffet. That makes a huge difference in the way I time things. Uh, for example, if there's... Uh, 120 or less guests, and it's a buffet, we can start toasting within 45 minutes. Right. If there's 180 to 250 guests, we're definitely looking at about an hour and 15 minutes before we can get started, and that's with the DJ personally dismissing tables and watching the buffet line because just that thing right there, instead of sending 200 people flying up to the buffet, it's more fluid because the caterers have time to refresh the food and the guests aren't all standing in line. So there's definitely ways to do it to shave off time, uh, to leave more time later for partying and dancing and things like that. Paige, you know what? I never even thought about I mean, I know about all that stuff, but I never thought about putting it to words. Oh, yeah. I, I just realized that I've been typing it over and over and over lately. <laughs> and, you know, like after, after you have your dinner and you toast, uh, if you have a, a closed mic, meaning you select your bridal party who's going to talk, uh, usually the the father of the bride says a few words. Um, that normally takes about 15 minutes if you don't have an open mic. So from that point, you know, you go to cake. I like the photographer to take the pictures. Three minutes, she's done. Move right on with the traditional events while they're cutting and serving cake. Because if you take 20 minutes after cake, people just scatter. And you've got to gather them all back up. And, you know, they've, they've all been sitting for a long time, so they tend to disappear into different areas. So... You know, move on with all those other traditional events, keep them engaged, keep them entertained, and save more time towards the end so that everybody can dance and have a good time. What about these photographers that 
should have all the formal pictures already taken, all the ceremony pictures taken, and all the group pictures taken. Mm-hmm. That just love to go and and, and uh, uh, take the bride and groom and the wedding party off the dance floor when the dancing first starts. Oh, sure. Those photos should already be been mm-hmm. taken, or they're gone doing formals. Clear into dinner was served about thirty minutes ago, and the buffet is getting cold, and we can't find anybody because they're still doing formals. So, uh, one of the ways I've been trying to circumvent that is talking to the brides. <laughs> That's a good word. <laughs> at, at, so right at the beginning. <laughs> I like it. Uh, find out who's your photographer. I've worked with lots of them, and you know, I think we're very fortunate in the state to have the quality vendors that we do have up here. There's a, lot, a of, lot of photographers, and there are a lot of them that are just fabulous. A lot of good so, vendors up in the state, and there there's is. a lot of credible companies out there. Mm-hmm. You know, but... Um, but well, let me go, finish my point. I'll, I'll let you. Okay, so if I let the brides know... Let's get your pictures before the ceremony starts. First of all, you're going to look fresher. A lot of brides cry during ceremonies. Their faces get red and puffy. The family's faces get red and puffy. Get the formals out of the way before the ceremony. It's going to give you more time to talk to your guests, more time for everything else, and then plant that little seed so when they do talk to a photographer who may be talented but just unexperienced, maybe they've only done 10 weddings they can say to them, I want my formals done ahead of time. And that really seems to be helping uh, the timeline situation. I also email back and forth with photographers all day long. I receive a timeline. I email it to them. We coordinate that. I want to make sure we're all on the same page because I've had a couple times where it was uh, not so fun. And we want it to be the best. Okay, Becca Page. It's, that was quick. You know, we have to have a word from our sponsors. Otherwise, we can't see on the air. Come Absolutely. Age. More than happy to. Life's a celebration. Grand Event Rentals makes your event their top priority. They are your full service, special event, and party rental provider, supplying everything you need from start to finish. Their professional sales team and event staff work with you to create your dream event. With every event, Grand Event Rentals customers' needs are the most important. Whether you're planning an intimate outdoor wedding or an elaborate black tie gala, the Grand Event Rentals specialists make great pride in providing our event planning experience to help create an unforgettable event. Please go and visit the Bellevue Showroom, Grand Event Rentals, or make a one-on-one appointment. Talk to them. They're trained. They're knowledgeable. They're event specialists, and they are going to take you through step-by-step everything that you need to make your day a success. Call Grand Event Rentals. Their number is 425-462-7368, or go to grandeventrentalswa.com. Attention business owners, experience a new world of business with Barter. The Saturn Barter Company, located in Tacoma, is one of the most beneficial business decisions you can make. Using Saturn Barter, you are able to sell your products or services to other members of the exchange. You can then use that credit you've built up from your sales to purchase the products or services you or your company needs from other companies within Saturn Barter, all without the use of cash. Contact and join Saturn Barter Club today, 253 212 99 or online at saturnbarter.com. Hi, everybody. This is Johnny from Viva Productions. I want to tell you a little bit about Elite Limousine. Right now, we have prom specials for 10 passenger stretch limousines, only $90 an hour. That's right, $90 an hour with the four hour minimum, 206 542 5733. Go to viva productions.com for pricing. This is Johnny the Gangster with Viva Productions, King of Entertainment, one-stop shop for all your entertainment needs. We have DJ service for weddings, corporate, and private events. Throw your guests with Vegas Nights Casino Party, Blackjack, Craps, Roulette, Poker, and more. We also have event photography and limousine service. Call Viva Productions, 206-542-5733, or find us at viva-productions.com. A little less conversation, a little more action, you got it. Call Johnny the Gangster, I'll make you a deal you can't refuse. 1,000 Words Event Entertainment. Elevate your event with one of 1,000 Words Event Entertainment Services, green screens, social media stations, event photography, the photo bus, photo booth, event lighting, slow motion video booth, and photo marketing. Thousand Words has your event professionally covered. 
way more than a photo booth, way more than just climbing into that black box. They actually have a custom-designed photo booth with a cool sheer hourglass kiosk colored to match your event. They can put a slideshow up on HDTVs or large projection screens. Your guests are going to be more involved when watching the action on the big screen and unlimited prints. That means everybody at your party is guaranteed to get a photo strip. Introducing Moondoggy. You guys have to check this out. It's a 1968 photo booth Volkswagen bus. Moondoggy rolls up to your event, rain or shine. The interior is converted into a unique mobile photo booth, guaranteed to bring bigger smiles to your photos. Also inquire about the new technology, slow motion photo booth. You will be amazed. For all information, photos, and services that a Thousand Words event entertainment provides, check out the website, 1000wordsevents.com, 1000wordsevents.com, or call 253-380-2026. Again, that's 253-380-2026, Thousand Words Entertainment, for everything you need. No other station brings you this much variety. Welcome to Alternative Talk, 1150 AM. And we are back, folks, and I am so excited about this segment because, you know, last week we had a couple of very special guests on our show talking we about did. Elvis. Yeah, we did. Um, you know, our company is called Viva Productions, King of Entertainment. That's right. Johnny loves him some Elvis. Yes, I do. And um, I do. we have well, the who? famous, well-known Jerry Osborne on our show. He gave me a little bit of homework. He told me, go to jerryosborne.com, guys. Um, he has an extensive website, and it's fascinating. I got a little hooked on reading it yesterday. And he gave me some homework, and he said, go to my bio, and you'll see everything that I do. And it's just a little bit of everything. Incredible. Um, this guy has been um, vi- virtually every major magazine and newspaper in the country, just to drop a few names, Reader's Digest, Wall Street Journal, USA Today, People Magazine, Esquire, TV Guide, it just goes on and on. Rolling Stone, cool. Billboard magazine. Very cool, very cool. Um, he's written books, contributed to everything, been on pretty much every radio show known to man. Sounds to me like he's a rock and roll historian. Pretty much. Wouldn't you agree, Jerry? Hi. Well, I'd like to add uh, KKNW to that list now. Woohoo! Cool, very cool. <laughs> and, and the hits just keep on coming. That's yeah. right. You know, um, Jerry, I, I've been a rock and roll aficionado since... 1964. I, I I would I would say so. I know everything about Elvis, the Beatles, the British invasion, and and you know, it just uh, it, it just baffles me how much I'm I'm so intrigued with 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 the whole uh, rock and roll uh, phase. And it sounds to me you're the same. Yes, except. I started about two decades before you did, <laughs> and so and I'm serious about that. I love the music of the 40s, even some from the 30s. Love everything from the 50s, everything from the 60s, mm-hmm. everything from the 70s. A little less in the 80s, and not much after that. But, <laughs> you know, that's my period, and it definitely overlaps with your period. I go right into the 80s, but into the 90s I fade. Yeah. Hmm. So, you know, um, I was looking at your bio, and it seemed that you had um, some uh, in- in- encounters with uh, Dick Clark. Well, I was... Uh, an MC of the traveling Dick Clark Caravan of Stars in I, 1965. I remember the and show. It was a, a bus tour. Correct. You know, everybody traveled from one city to the next. And uh, I can't even remember all the people that I worked with on those shows, but some of the names that just jump out at me. Uh, now, remember, this is 64, so we're talking about the, the peak of the British invasion, Correct. the peak of the Motown era, the peak of all kinds of oh, yeah. girl groups and whatever, Phil Spector, mm-hmm. you name it. And so we had people on that tour, like the Shangri-Las and the Righteous Brothers and Ronnie Dove and Mel Carter and Chad yeah. and Jeremy and Peter and Gordon and Del Shannon and Freddie Cannon and on and on and on. And so it was a lot of fun getting to know those people and being out there on stage, introducing them and making a small talk with them, much like we're doing today. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You're, you, you are right up my alley, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you about that time, because I was born in 1976, so I kind of missed it a little bit. But the, you said the height of the British invasion and the height of Motown. Is same time, same time. At the same time, and you were right there. Well, w- w- not only, Becca, was I right there, I was also 
a DJ at that time, too. I started my career in radio in February of 64, wow. and we are talking the Beatles arriving right. in America the same time I'm arriving uh, in front of the radio audiences around the country, in this case, California. And so that was the beginning of 14 consecutive years as a DJ. So I was mm -hmm. on uh, the outside as a fan and on the inside as someone who was playing all this music. That's that's amazing. My My question to you is... Is, has there been another time in music history that was more exciting than that, in your opinion? Well, the mid fifties was uh, probably uh, about the same, mm -hmm. you know, because of a different type of music and because of a different culture and a different general public in terms of the acceptance of things. But both of them are right at the top of my list. You know, I consider myself really fortunate in that I was not too old to enjoy what happened in the mid-60s, and not too young to appreciate the advent of rock and roll and everything that was happening in the early 50s and mid-50s. So I lived through both of those firsthand. And like you, born in the 70s, where you have to acquaint yourself with what happened and learn about it. But I lived through all that, and to me, that was just the perfect time to be alive. It, it, it had to be. That's that's my one, just my favorite type of music right there. The, I love the 50s, I love the 60s, I love the 70s. And the talent that came out at that time is unbelievable. I play Motown as often as I can. It's something about it that makes people smile, guaranteed. Well, I'm smiling just hearing you say that because mm -hmm. our new book, Rocket Records 2015 edition, wow. has the cover, the spine, and some inside pages as a tribute uh, photo gallery to the Motown era, and in particular, the Motown of the mid-60s. So uh, that is the focus of our current book. Mm -hmm. You know, that, Mo cool. that Motown era um, was very unique because, uh, like you said, there was two explosions. There was the British explosion uh, and, and the British invasion, and then there was the Motown not so exploding, but just kind of jumping in there and all of a sudden being mainstream as anybody else? Well, it wasn't really uh, by accident either. You have to give a lot of credit uh, to Barry Gordy and company because he found exactly what the people needed. In the years before 64, and I'm talking 60, 61, 62, and 63, yeah. Tamla Motown had hits periodically. Mary Wells, uh, Martha and the Vandellas, mm. Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, sporadic hits here and there. But they didn't dominate like they did when he hit on everything from Where Did Our Love Go Forward. And after that, it was just one number one hit after another. And so he just knew what to do at the right time. He was around in the 50s producing Jackie Wilson Correct. and having hit records with other artists. But he, he didn't really push that magic button until the beginning of 64, in so, my opinion. Yeah, well, I, I think your opinion is good. And you do know the first record that was released on Motown, correct? Well, the first record on Motown was uh, Bad Girl by the Miracles. Well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dispute that slightly, but you may be right. Uh, but I'm going to, uh, matter of fact, we can Google it right now. Uh, I think it's uh, Barrett Strong Money. Well, that wasn't on Motown, though. That was on Anna, which was actually the wow. name of one of Barry's relatives. So, uh, yes, that was from the Motown company, but it was not on the actual Motown label, whereas Bad Girl, which I mentioned, was the first Motown record to be made and released. Oh, my gosh. You know, Jerry, virtual high five. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Woo! Love it. I love it. We're going to make you a regular on this show, man. Well, you know, that's been done before. Beck, I wanted to tell you one thing that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. All that talk about buffets and the weddings and so forth made me hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, I'm headed for the buffets. Yeah. <laughs> we, we eat wedding food all the time. Well, I'm always looking for a good DJ assistant. You can come with me. Get, you get a free meal every time. Well, let's let the people know that, uh, though we're talking on the phone today, that we're both in Washington, but I'm on the other side of the water. You're over on what we call the mainland, mm -hmm. which is uh, where Seattle and Bellevue and all this is. And I'm over on the northeast tip of the Olympic Peninsula, which is Port Townsend. Beautiful. So we're about 40 miles away as the seagull flies. Oh, my gosh. I just booked a wedding yesterday at uh, Kiana Lodge, so I'll have you come help me out for that one. They're going to have a fabulous buffet at that wedding. Well, you got to play some Motown tunes. Well, yeah, I've already, yeah, oh, yeah. Motown is going to happen at that wedding. So. Well, mm -hmm. you know, music-wise, I think I have 
about every significant record that I could ever imagine wanting. And so if there's ever anything you're looking for or someone requests for their wedding and you can't find it easily, give me a call because I could probably email it to you. Oh, wow. fabulous. That's that's very nice. Very, very cool. Cool, very cool. 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 Very I love it. Oh, my gosh. So, so, oh, I have a question, too. So during this British invasion and Motown is going on everything, since we are having talking about Elvis, let's tell the listeners what Elvis Presley was doing during that time also. In 1964, I, I mm-hmm. can tell him. Well, he was doing, first of all, movies, one right after the other. Yeah. Okay. Despite, uh, I'm listening, I'm listening. Yeah, despite the, uh, the dominance of... Uh, the, the the British invasion, we'll just say, which, by the way, occupied 25% on average of the chart positions from the beginning of 64 until the end of, say, 66. Now, that means 25% fewer American artists were able to even get on the charts. And I'm well, talking Billboard and Cashbox and Record World and so forth. So right off the bat, there was a squeeze on the uh, American acts. Now, the Four Seasons and the Beach Boys and Rick Nelson and a few others were in there regularly, and Elvis was too, but they didn't get as high as they would have, and in general, they were just kind of squished out there. And But Elvis was really doing well. I mean, he had a number one album in 64, uh, which was the soundtrack of Roustabout, mm-hmm. and that was a, kind of a surprise oh, because he wasn't really having huge hit records, and I mean singles, at that time. But the albums were still doing great. The movies were still making a ton of money, costing very little to produce. And so he was doing well. But don't get me wrong, he wished that he could have been doing better movies. He wished that he could have been doing better recordings. And, of course, when the 68 special came along, he did exactly that, and he did what he wanted to do. And so from then on, you know, he was back on top again. But that lull from, say, 63, the end of 63, to... I just, 68 I, I was got, uh, you I got, know, kind of a period where he was wishing he could do better. I, I, I got to slightly disagree with that, Jeffrey, uh, because I'm a bit of a Jerry. rock and roll. Uh, I just said Jerry. That was Jeffrey. No. Forgive me, Jerry. Uh, would, would you be kind enough to forgive me? <laughs> well, I my gotta, lawyer will contact you in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to disagree with that to a certain extent because um, what you're talking about was I thought that um, – in 1963 and 64, even with the British invasion, Alva still uh, reigned uh, pre- pretty well at that time. Um, records didn't uh, uh, get uh, to number one, but uh, his career was, was still quite intact. And I, I think that his career kind of uh, sputtered in 66 and 67. Well, that is in that period that I'm talking about. I mean, you're absolutely right. Uh, the records were still on the charts. Always there was something by him on the charts. Right. But they were somewhere between 20 and 40 or 20 and 50 or whatever, and not in the top 10 that much. I mean, his last number one record after uh, Good Luck Charm in 1962 wasn't until... Uh, much later, in 69, Suspicious Minds. So correct. there was a period there where he wasn't as high on the charts, and we can attribute some of that to the British invasion. There's no question about that. So now, um, uh, if you'd be kind enough to hold on for a second, we have to have a word from our sponsors. Well, I'll head for the buffet while uh, okay. you're doing that. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. Elevate your event with one of 1,000 Words Event Entertainment Services. Green screens, social media stations, event photography, the photo bus, photo booth, event lighting, slow motion video booth, and photo marketing. 1,000 Words has your event professionally covered. They have way more than a photo booth, way more than just an enclosed black box, custom designed photo booths, color coded to match your event. They have dynamic slideshows on HDTVs or large projection screens of the images that were already taken so your guests become more involved watching the action on the big screen. Unlimited prints, meaning unlimited prints, folks. Everybody at the party who's in the booth is guaranteed to get at least one photo. Uh, Social media is definitely where it's at, and a thousand-word social media uploading stations 
Uh, guests get to go share their photos on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter instantly. And they have Moondoggy, which is a 1968 photo booth Volkswagen bus. Pulls up to your event, rain or shine. The interior is converted into a unique mobile photo booth. It is so much fun, guaranteed to bring bigger smiles in all your photos. Also, call them and inquire about the new technology, which is the slow motion video booth. It's really, really cool. For all that information, photos, services of a thousand words event entertainment, check out their website, 1000wordsevents.com, or call 253 380 2026. It's a thousand words events.com, 253 380 2026. Attention business owners, experience a new world of business with Barter. The Saturn Barter Company, located in Tacoma, is one of the most beneficial business decisions you can make. Using Saturn Barter, you are able to sell your products or services to other members of the exchange. You can then use that credit you've built up from your sales to purchase the products or services you or your company needs from other companies within Saturn Barter, all without the use of cash. Contact and join Saturn Barter Club today, 253 212 99 or online at SaturnBarter.com. Hi, everybody. This is Johnny from Viva Productions. I want to tell you a little bit about Vegas Nights. Forget about Vegas. I brought casino tables to the Emerald City. Craps, blackjack, roulette, poker. If you're planning a private party, corporate party, senior grad party, any kind of party, you want casino tables, you call 206-542-5733. Vegas Nights, that's right, shake, rattle, and roll. Open your ears, open your heart, open your mind. Alternative Talk, 1150 AM. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, cats and chicks, you're listening to Viva ENT. This is Johnny DeCapo. I'm in the studio with my co-host. Back at the page. Back at the page. We got Jerry on the line. Jerry, you still there? I am here. Jerry, so... I'm fascinated with uh, your knowledge. Um, so now you're telling me something that I, I didn't know, which fascinates me. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Gordy, before Motown, had, uh, had a couple other small labels. Is that correct? Well, Anna was the one that had money. And, of course, Barrett Strong had a, a follow-up or two that didn't become hits. But anyway, yes, he did, uh, Anna. And he also had some other little side projects that he was doing. But he was also producing Jackie Wilson for Brunswick, too. Yeah, I, I've met Jackie Wilson, and, and um, I know about uh, the c- collaboration with Jackie Wilson mm-hmm. and uh, Barry Gordy, which was, which was great for Jackie Wilson, that's for sure. Um, uh, it's too bad that uh, he didn't stay with uh, uh, Barry when, when Motown took off. But um, so are you, talk- are you saying that Anna was a record company? Anna was the label. Okay. The record, the, the company was still really Barry Gordy. Okay. And, and what would ultimately become Tamla and Motown and Gordy and all the other labors, Soul and so forth. But uh, so was it, it, but uh, he didn't put a, a Motown record out until that bad girl by the Miracles we talked about earlier. Very. Uh, that's uh, okay. I, I I can't question you. Uh, so you're saying that it was Anna, then it was Tamla. Tamla and Motown were alternating back and forth, but the first Miracles record was on Motown, okay. even though all of their hits were on Tamla later on. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. So, in other words, the first song that charted in the top 10 or top 40 was um, uh, the, the the song you're talking about. No, Bad Girl did not uh, become a hit. I mean, the record was out, and it was the first Motown record, but it did not become a hit uh, at the time. It was reissued a little later on Tamla, but the actual Motown first pressing was probably very few uh, made and uh, was not a hit like the Miracles was having after Shop Around, we'll say. Okay, so the first major hit on the Motown label was? First mo- first uh, hit would be probably Mary Wells. Bye Bye Baby and... Uh, 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 you beat me to the punch, and uh, the one who really loves you, and you know those hits from cool. the early '60s by Mary Wells. Very cool. Hey, can we get you on the show next week? Well, uh, you can get me anytime you want me, as long as uh, I know in advance. <laughs> 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 I, I would hate to be at the post office when you call. <laughs> it's a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, can you tell uh, our listeners a little bit about uh, 
your information, how they can uh, uh, get more information on you, go to your website, uh, maybe uh, buy some of your books? Well, everything we have, as well as everything we've ever done, quite frankly, is on the website on one page or another. There's a lot of different pages there, but everything is an offshoot of jerryosborne.com. We didn't mention it today, but for almost 30 years, I've been writing a nationally syndicated newspaper column, which which is called Ask Mr. Music. And gee, I'm Mr. Music, so uh, why don't write, why don't I write it? <laughs> and mm-hmm. so uh, that is there every week for people who don't get it in whatever the local paper might be, so they can read that there every week. Uh, there are other pages that spin off of the homepage, and one of them is the bio and publishing history that uh, Becca mentioned earlier. And uh, there is also a page for every individual book that is currently available so they can see what they're all about and if they uh, meet their needs and so forth. And there's also a shopping cart where people can easily check out and take what they want and get it sent to them. Very cool. Thank you so much, Jerry. Everybody, again, it's jerryosborne.com. If you start typing in Jerry Osborne in Google, it's just going to pop up Jerry Osborne Elvis. Boom, just like that. Very so good. easy to find. Thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honor, and we will hopefully talk to you next week. We yeah. will talk again. Yay! Thanks, folks. All right, Thanks for thank being you. on the show, man. Bye-bye. All right, folks. Michael Bell. Well, that, no, no, Eddie, Eddie Redmond's on. Yes, so Eddie Redmond, who is our next guest, and I even put on Facebook, we have some very special guests today. It's just wonderful. He's taking the time out of his busy schedule. He has a huge company, and he is a super busy man. He's a superstar. Um, he owns Grand Event Rentals here in Washington, and... They say life is a celebration. We're going to get him on, and he's going to tell us exactly what that means. Eddie, my man. How are you? How are you doing, pal? Good. Yourself? I'm doing great. That was some interesting music stuff. I was getting a little enthralled there. So. You know, I, 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 was, I was starting to get a little bit uh, uh, off, off, off a little bit because uh, uh, he, he said some stuff that I didn't know, and I thought I was an expert. <laughs> <laughs> We all like to think we're experts. Somebody <laughs> shows that they're a little more expert than we are, right? Yeah, exactly. But then that's how we learn. <laughs> that's become right. better that's how experts. we become better experts. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting slightly humble here today. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Eddie, congratulations on having such a wonderful, successful uh, show as a vendor. You, your booth was gorgeous. And, uh, always. And uh, something that's super unique about you guys is you do a lot of things in gold, don't you? Well, gold and silver is kind of the, you know, coming on strong this year. Mm-hmm. Um, although I can't take credit for how beautiful that looks because really it's my staff that does a good job on that. They just put me as the uh, body in the booth to try and uh, scare the people away when they come by. But uh, <laughs> they did a really nice job, and we even did our own flowers in-house this time because we have somebody that used to work for florists on the staff, mm-hmm. too. So we just have these little hidden talents. You know, it's so funny when you have these people come by at the booth and they're like, that's just what I'm looking for, and it's like, Believe it or not, we actually do research and look at what the trends are, look at what the popular colors are coming out, and that's a direct result of what you see in our booth. It's not as simple as, let's just throw something pretty out there. We actually put a lot of time into it yeah. and uh, research. You know, you did say the key word, though, staff. Yep. I mean, because, uh, you know, no companies that, you know, do a, a lot of um, events and uh, have a uh, you know, a lot of staff and a lot of uh, people out there working, you know, loading up, loading the trucks, going out there and setting up all the gear. They're really the heart and soul of the company, aren't they? Yeah, you know, uh, one of my drivers said to me one time, he said, you know, when I'm out there, I feel like I'm the ambassador of the company. Exactly. Yes. I wish yes. we could get that through to everybody's and heads. I, it's <laughs> so true because you talk to people on the phone, and mm-hmm. you may even build a pretty good rapport with them. But mm-hmm. then when it comes down to the actual time, it's your install crew guys that are out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're the ones that got to make sure. And they understand. You know, I tell people this across the board. Many times when we're dealing with a person, it might be a bride, it might be an admin, it might be a grand opening, but it's the largest event they've un- ever undertaken in their life. Correct. And there's so much pressure on them, like to make that wedding perfect mm-hmm. or, or to make or- their boss be so proud of them that they put this thing together even though they're just the admin in the office. Or the Paul McCartney car- concert too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, yep. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, it's, that's cool he, he gets that concept that, you know, he, he really is representing the entire company with his actions. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's fun. I was thinking about that today because we're big fans of this new place that just opened in Linwood called the Donut Factory. Yeah. Probably the best donuts in the universe. Give, give them a plug. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even kidding. To, I'm going to have to try that out. Oh, you oh got, yeah. There's, you this, got there's a Facebook group called Edmonds Moms. It's about 4,000 members strong oh. every day. Like they actually give us an Edmonds Moms discount because so many of us go in there. Well, I think but, I'm an Edmonds mom now. That you, you, you just tell them you just want yeah. the Edmonds Moms discount. But yeah. there's this one guy who works there. And it's just like a pleasure to go in there every time. And you yeah. know he's he's just front staff, and he's probably working for minimum wage. He makes the whole thing better. He's so yeah. much fun. And when he's not there, I'm like, oh, not saying the other girl isn't nice, but it's, right. it's all about the charm and right. personality. That's correct. It's all about the charm and personality. No well, question. And sometimes, too, you know, these people are coming in pretty anxious. And, you know, it's almost like you got to sit and go, okay, take a breath. Mm-hmm. How can I help you? Absolutely. Not, hey, there's five million things going on here. Um, you know, I I got one thing downtown. I got a fire department I'm dealing with, and I got this. It's like, you know what? Just go through each thing methodically and just calm the nerves. Cause yeah, you got yeah. you got you got to calm down. Yeah, you're pretty zen yourself, Eddie. I've noticed I've that. I try to be, but you know, this is the worst business to be anxious. <laughs> it, it is. It is, and that, that's something I appreciate too. Is one of the most stressful parts of planning the wedding is going, uh, getting all your rental items, making sure you have enough in the right amount, and. Right. It's so case critical that all those items show up on time and they're right. all there. And I've worked, I've, I've ha- experienced companies, not yours, that, uh, you know, a couple chairs don't arrive. Certain linens don't arrive. Now, all of a sudden, what are you going to do? You don't have a linen for the cake table and it's too late to go get it. You right. have guests standing up. No one can go get extra chairs. So what you do is so incredibly critical to the success of an event. And you guys nail it every yeah. time. Yeah. You try to. They do. Yep. And sometimes you just try to come up with, okay, they forgot about this, but what can we do for it? Exactly. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, uh, when something happens, you got to keep a cool head. Yes. You know, and if uh, something doesn't go exactly the way it should, right. you got to evaluate it and make it go as good as you can. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I was doing some uh, work in an event where they, you know, it's a pretty good size event, and they're all on radio. Wow. And I had one person that just got so, it was kind of like, what? What do you mean? And I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa. When you're on radio, you got half the people listening to you in the world. And some of them could be a client, a staff, Correct. even a fellow worker. If you're panicking, then they're going to start panicking. Oh, yeah. Or they're going to get a little anxious. Well, pa- panic is contagious. Yes, it is. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it it is. is a very contagious disease. But, you know, the main thing is so many times, even in, you know, you can always figure out a way to solve something. It may not be exactly what you want, um, but it could be something. You know, I was, just, I, was, I was reading an article where, you know, you talk about, the, you know, making the event appear like it is. And it was in one of the bridal magazines, and it said, you know, People are coming in with Pinterest, mm-hmm. and they have this idea of how yeah. they want everything to be like this. So the problem with Pinterest, I'm following you, Eddie. I'm following you. Say how much it's going to cost. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you. So sometimes that's what we're dealing with. You're days. dealing you with champagne dreams on a beer in. budget. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're coming in with a Pinterest thing, but then it's like, okay, so we can't do that because that's going to be two hundred and fifty dollars a table. Yeah. But what if we got the two colors in there by doing a napkin here and this tablecloth here, and now we're down to fifty dollars a table? You know, so it's kind of bringing them back to the reality the check and balance of mm-hmm. okay, we can make something along those lines, but it can't be just that because pictures are beautiful, but you need to understand what went into them. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Or you know, and we see that with photography too. People oh, see a gosh. photo and they're like, "Well, I want." this photographer because this is what their picture looks like. It's like you realize that they have hours and hours and hours of editing into that one photo, right? Like they didn't just go snap that picture. Oh, come on. They're all just ad-libbed and done in one sec. What are you talking about? I think they are. (laughs) I mean, they're actually staged and maybe they had two or three hours to kind of think through. I got the other day I was trying to explain to her videography and because when I told her the average price of a videographer, she about died. And I said, well, it, it involves just so uh, up to a hundred hours afterwards editing and they're, they're making a movie they're editing it and making it into a movie that's the important part and she's like oh okay so once mm-hmm. once they realize the hours that go into it, it makes right. all the difference well, yeah, Eddie, you don't need the picture of aunt sally falling off a chair but maybe the dancing just before that that's right exactly and, and you know you know 
the, the, the keepers are the keepers and the formals are the portraits and you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the candidates are candidates. If, if people's teeth are yellow, then guess what? Their teeth are probably yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Eddie, it's a pl- I've been a pleasure to have you on the show. Yeah. Can no, you tell Can you tell all the folks how to get a hold of you? Yeah, they go to uh, grandreds.com. Cool. We're uh, located out of Bellevue, but we actually service the entire Puget Sound, pretty much border to border. Uh, we actually go up towards the Canadian border a lot. In the summer, we're in you know San Juan, all the islands, mm-hmm. all the outlying areas. Great. Uh, sounds great, man. And call us at four two five four six two seven three six eight. And your website? Uh, www.grandrents.com. Grand Rents. Eddie Redman from Grand Events Rentals, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to have you on the show, Eddie. Yeah, Thanks, always Eddie. a pleasure. Anytime I can help people and bring the reality to life of events. I'm here for you. Yeah, right. you're right. Reality is the is is the answer. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Thank well, you so Eddie, much. We will talk to you later. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. This is Johnny the Gangster with Viva Productions, King of Entertainment, one-stop shop for all your entertainment needs. We have DJ service for weddings, corporate, and private events. Throw your guests with Vegas Nights Casino Party, Blackjack, Craps, Roulette, Poker, and more. We also have event photography and limousine service. Call Viva Productions, 206-542-5733, or find us at viva-productions.com. A little less conversation, a little more action, you got it. Call Johnny the Gangster, I'll make you a deal you can't refuse. Attention business owners, experience a new world of business with barter. The Saturn Barter Company, located in Tacoma, is one of the most beneficial business decisions you can make. Using Saturn Barter, you are able to sell your products or services to other members of the exchange. You can then use that credit you've built up from your sales to purchase the products or services you or your company needs from other companies within Saturn Barter, all without the use of cash. Contact and join Saturn Barter Club today, 253-212-9900. Or online at SaturnBarter.com. Brides, do you want your big day to be stress free, perfect, and stay within your budget? Well, Brides Club has all the inside information to make your dream a reality. Go to BridesClub.com. That's BridesClub.com. See upcoming bridal shows and events, view wedding vendors and special offers. And don't miss the Spotlight, the premier online wedding magazine with valuable articles you can't afford to miss. Brides Club helps make your wedding stress-free and perfect. Go to bridesclub.com. Check out bridesclub.com. Alternative to what? Alternative to everything else out there on the radio. Alternative Talk, 1150 AM. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, cats and chicks. Hello, we are back. You're listening to Viva ENT. We've got Michael Bella on the line, but before we bring him on... Yeah, uh, I wanted to tell everybody about this. Uh, last night, my daughter and I were out and about at the Northgate Mall area, and we actually just stumbled upon this place that's so cool, and it just opened. And I have a 13-year-old daughter. If you're listening and you have teenagers, you know, uh, especially on the weekends, it's hard for them to find something to do nowadays. You know, they can go hang out at the mall, you go to skate night. There's very limited activity, social activities that they can do. This place is called Play Live Nation. It's over there by the Northgate Mall next to Five Guys Burgers and and the uh, Regal Thornton place, just right there. Uh, They have great hours. And what it is is you walk into this room that has all blue lighting and you can game. Everybody has their own separate big screen TV and your big comfy couch and your headset. But you can go in with your friends or it's, it's kind of a social networking thing with gaming. So you have your own little station to play, but you can play with your friends or other people there. So the whole goal of this place is to get kids off the couch and out, especially with kids who love to play video games or more introverts, and this is more of a social activity. Uh, You can go hourly with them. You can get a monthly subscription. They do parties, all sorts of stuff. They also have, um, you can trade in games, things like that for gameplay, and have a full service department for everything that you need. So anyway, the place is called Play Live Nation. I'd love for you to check it out. Send your kids there. They did tell me that they do keep an eye on the kids, make sure they're safe, and that it's a positive environment at all times so we don't have to worry about bullying or anything there. Okay. It's uh, play, play, playlivenation.com. 
or 206-268-0021. I also want to talk about the open houses coming up, uh, Edmund Jacques Club, yep. uh, January 28th, mm-hmm. Wednesday, 6 to 9 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, they're going to be at the Xfinity Everett Wedding Expo on the 25th and 26th. 24th and 25th. Oh, thank you so much. No, no, it's the 25th and 26th. <laughs> anyway, go to bridesclub.com, click on Expos. You will see all the dates, times, and everything of the Expos and open houses. Also, the Seattle Hilton, February 8th. Our That's going to be a hot one. Oh, my gosh. We've had hot, so many hot, RSVPs. Hot. If you want to go check out the brand new, fully remodeled Hilton, they at the Seattle Hilton, the top of the Hilton is now open as a venue. That's it's correct. gorgeous. And people are lining up to come see it. Jeremiah Khan, call there. Ask for him. He will make you a killer deal, too. So January 24th and 25th is the Xfinity Arena Everett Wedding Expo. I said the 24th. Yeah, sure. What did I say? Well, let's get Mike on the phone. I want to talk to him. Okay, I do. Hello. Mikey. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. What's, Abella. What's going on, handsome? Oh, just soaking up all the sun here. And well, no. well you've, been, you've been jet skiing all over Colorado, for God's sakes. Well, that's the, one of the benefits of having a photo booth business in Colorado in the wintertime, so I can, uh, you know, ski when I uh, go out there. So oh, those, <laughs> are, those are pretty cool pictures on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, Sorry, I like them. Look, yeah. look like you were having fun. Oh, it's always a good time. Good time. Well, great. Well, Mike, sure. you uh, have 1,000 words, and you call it event services, event entertainment services. Well, it started yeah. off as 1,000 words photo booth, uh-huh. but we are really more than a photo booth. And um, so our you know, our web address says 1,000 words events. Um, so we go by you know several different names, actually, but uh, <laughs> our core business is the photo booth. Um, and I just have to give you guys kudos. I just heard the uh, new commercial, and I, I love it. So uh, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you very much. And, um, yeah, so it's just, you know, we do a lot of uh, entertainment at uh, different corporate parties and weddings and any kind of party that needs photo, you know, photography services, we can we can accommodate. Now, now wasn't that Tacoma Wedding Expo uh, a great show? That was a great show. Uh, I was very impressed with the uh, turnout. Um, we had the photo bus there, mm-hmm. and there was a lot of uh, smiles when they saw it because they, I don't think they'd ever seen a photo uh, a Volkswagen bus <laughs> at that show before. So, so. cool. <laughs> yeah, actually, to tell you the truth, um, that uh, it was the talk of the show, that, that, uh, that bus, <laughs> the, yeah, ma- I, the magic bus. It was the magic bus. You know, just need a few people to book that magic bus, and we'll be happy. So, uh, <laughs> there's, sure. there, there's so many outdoor venues uh, for weddings. It's ridiculous in the Puget Sound. And the nice thing about yours is it's, it's a rain or shine type of scenario, right? Yep. Uh, you know, just pull up. If it does rain, we do have a cover for that goes over the the van. It covers the mo- most of it. Um, uh, it's sort of a funny story. The first person that came up at that show, they really loved the, the bus and. and I, I thought they were going to pull out their wallet right then, and um, then they said, "Well, we need it up on uh, Paradise and at Mount Rainier." Oh my God! I, wow. I sort of scratched my head. I know if a 1968 bus would make up the hill, so I haven't heard from them, and um, I'm a little nervous to hear from them. Yeah, I <laughs> might have to give that a little trial run. Yeah, it'd yeah, be a I'm good excuse to, to go up to Paradise. It, it might be. Yeah, hey, I, I might have to tow the thing up there. So. Well, I've been up there before in a four by, and it's still a challenge, you know, getting up to certain places with that. So, <laughs> yeah. well, I've had the ten passenger stretches go over the passes to try to get to the gorge. It's, it's not a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet it's like I the bet. little engine that could. <laughs> and tell and bus. We we have very limited time, but you know, one thing yeah. that I do, I want to get you back on. We can touch really quick. Is the uh, you're talking about this new slow motion um, video booth, right? Yeah, new technology. Uh, not not necessarily completely new, but it's it's fun. It's just a way to, to change up the standard photo booth so people get into a photo set situation and they pretty much can dance around or do anything they want to, and they're actually filmed at uh, 240 frames per second, which then wow. when it's played back, it's super slow motion. And it's fun seeing glitter and things thrown. Um, what's, yeah. You do you have an example of that on your website yet? We do not. Okay. Um, not an appropriate website, not an appropriate video that could be shown to all the masses. Okay. Um, the ones we have, are, uh, it was a college party, and it was... Oh, know, one of those. Was, yeah. I do those, too. We're actually looking too. for <laughs> a, really a great 
wedding to actually really launch it off into the wedding market. So. Okay. Well, we're, we, so are, we have a, I think we have a couple coming up, so we'll keep you tuned on that. Okay. Well, we, we're running out of time, but I do want to let everybody know at 1000wordsevents.com. It's 1000wordsevents.com, 253-380-2026 to talk to Mike. Mike, it's yep. a pleasure to have you on the show. And do you Thanks have a again. casino backdrop for photography, like a regular photo, uh, backdrop? Like no, a, but I need that. Yeah, we, we do too. Yeah, that's why we're asking. <laughs> well, we'll get in touch with you real soon about that whole situation. So, All right. I thank you so much, Mr. Abella, and everyone again. That was the Thousand Words Event Entertainment. Okay. We're out of time. You know, we miss, we miss playing uh, Blue Suede We'll shoes. do it next time. Man, oh, man. Yeah. So, hot. folks, you've been listening to Viva ENT. King of Entertainment. That's right. Live on KKNW. 1150. AM. And? 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 We'll dig you now. And see you later. Because? You're a fine. Sweet potato. That's right. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Bye.